more CDs. Let's start going through this this uh, cabinet here. All right, I did the top shelf today. All right, gore rotted, mutilated in minutes. I've got the first DP downstairs, actually a couple of them. I'll be getting it signed because uh, there's a guy I know wants to buy it off me 50 quid if I get it signed by the original band members. Right, gore rotted, only tools and corpses. Archangel prayers upon deaf ears. Lots of glare today. I shan't apologise. <laughs> There's no point. Right, massacre promise. War compilation. Now that's wrong, wrong again records. War. Eucharist in flames. Miscurrent catatonia. Dissection. Dark tranquility. Morning sign. Ceremonial oath and purgatorium. Uh, destruction, best of, double CD, or doppel CD, as it says in German, I believe. <laughs> that would make most sense, since they are a German band. Uh, the moaning, is that? Mo the moaning, blood from a stone, or blood from stone. Yeah, the moaning, blood from stone. Is that two bands together, or is, it, is that name of the album? No, I think it's just the name of the album. Yeah, Blood From Stone is the album. The Moaning is the band. Yeah, I don't remember them. <laughs> right then. I can't even... Be oh, Gates of Ishtar. Gates of Ishtar, a blood red path. I was going to say, I can't even begin to read that logo. But uh, yeah, I kind of recall it now. Gates of Ishtar. Not bad stuff, actually. Not bad stuff. Melodic death metal. Uh, Disciples of Power. Canadian, I believe. Uh, Balance of Power, is that something? Uh, no, Invincible Enemy. Invincible Enemy. Balance of Power. Cypress of Power is the name of the band. Invincible Enemy is the name of the, of the album. And no track, Invincible Enemy is a pretty cool tune that I recall. Right, Demolition Hammer. Epidemic of Violence. Great death, thrashing stuff. The very best of Testament, as if I needed it when I've already got all the Testament albums, pretty much. I don't know why I've, I bought a best of. Uh, Solace Denied, these are a UK black metal band from London, Essex kind of way, if memory serves correctly. Just like a, a self released uh, CD demo. Uh, Necro Sadistic Goat Torture, One Nation Under Goat. This are a London black metal band. Uh, can't read that. Applied Schizophrenic Science is the name of the album. Pa oh, Oath to Vanquish. Oath to Vanquish is the name of the band, yeah. Though you can't make it out. It's a bit dark. I've got one of them bloody um, them energy saver lights. It doesn't really produce that much light, to be honest. Well, it is uh, night time now, so it's dark out, so not much outside light. Uh, Dice Discern, Revive and Rebuke. Uh, Inhumate, this CD is called Life. I think these were a French grind band. Saw them once live at the Purple Turtle. They were a very uh, interesting front man who went kind of crazy. Uh, Slave Ark, Vanquish. I believe that's uh, someone chopping the head off of um, John the Baptist there on the front cover. Evaness, Sower of Sedition. Not to be confused with Evan Evanescence. <laughs> I'm pretty sure these are a heavy death metal band, so definitely not to be confused with Evanescence. All right. Um, Love History. Love History Desires. Desires is the name of the album. Love History. Just trying to get it so it's not so glary. Uh, Overkill. Feel the Fire. Fresh Masterpiece. Have it on vinyl as well, of course. Great stuff. Early Overkill is absolutely good. They had a, a bit of a, a rough period in the middle for me, but uh, early stuff, and I think they've gone back to form now. And live, never disappoint live. Right, Grave, and Here I Die Satisfied. Awesome Swedish death metal. One of the greats. Right, another compilation here. Touch of Death. 
Uh, and the uh, Silent the Black Mark, isn't it? Yeah, Black Mark Records, so Black Mark Productions. This has got tracks by Flesh Crawl, Invocator, Aggressor, Necrosanct, Cemetery, Tribulation, Seance, Edge of Sanity, Rosicrucian, and Baffery. I'm pretty sure I have all the albums from that as well. All the, all the albums by them bands. Well, a lot of them anyway. Right, a bit of UK Doom Metal. Epic Doom Solstice with Lamentations. Sarcophago rotting. Sarcophago. Right, I think this is Impaled Nazarene. I thought I'd just seen that on the spine. The Impaled Nazarene Latex Cult. One of the later albums by them. Another band who had a little bit of a, a fading in the middle period for me. Um, some of their stuff got a bit punky. And uh, not quite as uh, interesting for me, but yeah, most of their stuff is pretty good though. Right, Vader. Black to the Blind. Digitally remastered, contains the album Darkest Age. So there we are, as a bonus track. That's interesting. <laughs> quite a lot on there then. Right, Obituary. Back from the Dead. CD-ROM bonus track, videos, live footage, anima animation. Do they still do that kind of thing nowadays? I mean, that was a, they did that for a while, didn't they? Put, like, videos and stuff onto your, uh, onto your CD. Right, Nasty Savage. Wage of Mayhem. Floridian Frash, if uh, memory serves me correctly. Looks like Megadeth, yep, Megadeth, so far, so good, so what? The first Megadeth album that I owned, got it on vinyl originally, and uh, just picked it up on CD, obviously saw it going cheap, and I thought, yeah, uh, who doesn't, who doesn't, you know, like it on CD as well? Right, another Overkill, another one I already have on vinyl, this is The Years of Decay, some great tracks on here. I think after this they started going a little bit downhill for me, but this was a cool album. It's got Elimination on it. Yeah, Elimination, Time to Kill, Skull Crusher. Bloody, not, not a duff track on that one. Evil Never Dies. Awesome, awesome album. I don't know if after that I was getting more into death metal, and so I didn't really give it the time of day, the rest of their stuff. Maybe if I'd given the rest of their stuff a little bit more uh, attention, I would have enjoyed it more. But for me, it was got a bit more plodding, a bit more like... Um, Less fresh, more, um, what do you call it, groove. Yeah, which wasn't for me. Right, Celtic Frost, Monotheist, which is, means believing in one god, doesn't it? Monotheist. Uh, I believe it does. That was uh, their last album, I think, before they, they became. Um, oh, what is the name of the alpha they are now? I'm not going to remember. I'm not going to remember the name of the band they are now. Oh, oh, Trypticon. And that's when they came back and it was really slow. I saw them at the, um, the Astoria, the LA2, in London. I got a freebie for that one because my mate put the gig on. So that was quite happy with that. And um, they were really slow. All their old songs, they played it like at half speed almost. It was still cool, but it wasn't your old Celtic Frost, if you know what I mean. It was still good to see them after all them years, though. Right, um, My Dying Bride. Did I say the name of My Silent Wake? No, I did, did I? I got it out and I was talking about Bloody Old Celtic Frost too much. And I forgot to mention this one. This is My Silent Wake. This is a Doom Death band. These are really good, really good guys. Really good. Like, I've, you know, seen them a few times, hung out of them once or twice. Um, My Silent Wake is the guy who used to be in Seventh Angel. And just really good band, really good music as well. Been going for a long, long time now. Slight similarity in name, My Silent Wake and My Dying Bride, but other than the fact that the three words, they both started with My. <laughs> um, My Silent Wake are still good. My Dying Bride went a bit pant, if you ask me. They went too gothic. Uh, got away from the, the death part of the doom. It just became a bit dull for me. Uh, I can't even remember this album. Can't see the name. What's that name of that album? Oh, Masterwork One. I think this has got some of the old stuff on it, so this is okay. Yeah, it's got Symphony, Infernus, Etspera, Imperium. Yeah, some of the old good stuff. Uh, but let's say My Silent Wake. I've yet to hear a, a, a song by them that I don't 
enjoy or a release by them that I haven't enjoyed. But this is really good stuff. Uh, Salute Above the Law. Seen them live a couple of times in London. I think they're from Leeds or somewhere like that. Don't quote me on it. But they're a real kind of like motorheady, punk, thrashy kind of thing. Just really, just balls out, cool tunes really. I've not heard anything since this album actually. So yeah, but that Above the Law is really cool. Right, this was a doom death metal band from Scotland. They were on the scene quite a lot back in the day when I was doing my fanzine in the 90s. I interviewed them a couple of times, put them on some of my compilations, put them on a gig actually, a couple of gigs down in London, which were woefully attended and made me feel like a right prize arsehole for bringing a band down and hardly getting anybody in the door. But what can you do? People don't want to spend their money, don't want to come out, then there's nothing can you do about it really, is there? <laughs> it's like my podcast. I do my podcast and if no one wants to listen to it, there's bugger all I can do. If you want to help out by listening to my podcast, the link is down below. Please do because it's been really pathetic the amount of uh, listens I've had recently and it's kind of getting me down more than everything else in my life. <laughs> right. Come back next week. Well, I will be going through half of this drawer, I reckon, because there is just, I'm not even sure I can get the drawer open, because it's kind of like, what's, what's bashing against, it's bashing against something, can't get the bugger open, there you go, right, come back next week, and I shall go through at least half of these, well, maybe half of these, whatever, just come back next week, and listen to my podcast. <laughs>